Hello, my dear awesome students. This is Rachna Gulati, Block Mentor English from Government Girls Senior Secondary School, Pilar, Padho Punjab, Padhao Punjab, Team Jalandhar. Welcome to this session, which is a great initiative of Department of School Education. I, your teacher and guide, will take you today on the journey of knowledge with fun. As we all know that learning is a continuous process, we keep on learning new things throughout our life. We also are full of admiration when we are able to recall and apply this knowledge in our day-to-day -day life. In case we do any mistake, we try to correct it and thus we move on. As a student, our education system follows a practice to evaluate and reward our knowledge with marks or grades. And all of us want to score more or higher in our all attempts. So dear students, today we will hit two birds with one stone. On one hand, we will enjoy by attaining a new skill. And on the other hand, we will develop an ability to grab marks easily in our exams. So, hey guys, are you ready? Then, why to wait? Let's start this wonderful session with a wonderful activity. Now, dear students, listen carefully to the passage which I'll read. When we survey our lives and endeavors, we soon observe that almost the whole of our actions and desires is bound up with the existence of other human beings. We notice that our whole nature resembles that of the social animals. We eat food that others have produced. We are clothes that others have made. Live in houses that others have built. The greater part of our knowledge and beliefs has been communicated to us by other people through the medium of a language which others have created. Without language, our mental capacities would be poor indeed, comparable to those of the higher animals. Now, dear students, try to reproduce the maximum content that you have just listened. So, what did you observe? It is certain that you cannot produce the whole content. If I'm not wrong, some words or phrases or an idea of the passage must be there in your memory right now. And these two will vanish within a short span of time. This is actually the limitation of an average human brain. To keep it there in our long-term memory, we need an aid along with some drill and obviously our focus. And thus 
we can get this aid from our today's topic that is note making. Dear students, this is the era of knowledge explosion and there is a need of remembering at least the main points of a given topic. Every learner targets at regaining the maximum of the knowledge received and recall the same in the desired way when needed. Thus, note making serves the need well. Now, what are notes? Notes are short written records of the facts to aid the memory. They are usually maintained to record a speech or dictation while listening to it or after reading a book, article or a passage. The skill of writing notes is thus called note making. Dear students, the skills of the language involved in note making are reading, listening and writing. Therefore, it's a combination of many skills. So, till now we are very clear with the idea of what note making is. Now, let us see what makes it so important. Of course, it's an important part of our syllabus and we can surely score good grades by learning it. But this is not the only reason. There are so many in the list. Let's go through them one by one. First of all, it develops critical thinking in the learner. Secondly, the learner will become more attentive as he or she has to be active for preparing notes. Note making aids understanding and memory of the key points. During the time of revision, the learner has to cover a number of topics in a limited time. If the notes are already prepared by him, then a lot of time and effort will be saved. It also activates learning process as the student will no longer in a passive mode. Now, dear students, as we have already discussed that it's a combination of many skills. The process of note making includes almost all the four skills of the language. The student read or listens to the passage, then he writes the notes while reflecting and organizing. He or she could speak it out to himself or herself, thus it is having all the four skills. Now once the notes are prepared, they can last long and it is seen that students even take help of the notes of their seniors too. We can see two pictures on the screen. These pictures 
depict the importance of making notes. The first one says that report where R is remember, E is examine, P prepare, O is organize, again R that is review here and then T that is think are the reasons behind the importance of making notes. Now dear students, now you must be clear with the importance of note making. Let's see what features should be there in good notes. There is a web diagram on the screen showing the features of good notes. First of all, notes must be short and compact. If the notes are lengthy, then it will not be easy to learn them. So the purpose will not be fulfilled of memorizing the content. It must cover important information. Thirdly, the presentation of the notes must be logical. The correct format should be followed to make it extremely useful. Then comes understandable. If the language is not understandable, then later on one will find them useless. Last but not the least, it is always recommended to use abbreviations and symbols to make it short and to save time. But it should also be noted that it should be understandable and not confusing. For example, if abbreviation D I double F dot is used it can be taken as different and some other person can take it as difficult. So these type of confusions should not be there. Now it's the turn to have a look on the three stages of note making. The process of note making can be broadly divided into three stages. The first one, before, where the learner prepares himself by finding out what he needs to know and the purpose of reading. The second stage is during, where the learner notes down the main ideas and keywords of the content. Now comes the final stage, the third one that is after. Here the learner reflects and reviews and then organizes the notes. Let's move on and see in detail Steps are to be followed for making note. The first step is to read the passage carefully and get the theme. While reading it, the learner should underline the main headings, subheadings and sub-subheadings while reading. He should use numbers to write the main heading. All the main headings must be at the same distance 
from the margin and the subheading at the same distance from the margin. Here, the learner should write after leaving a certain space from the margin, the main heading, under the main heading, leaving a little bit of space and then writing the subheading. Then use abbreviations and symbols wherever required. But it should also be kept in mind that these abbreviations or symbols must be commonly used one or he or she can frame her or his own too. But it must not be confusing. Don't use auxiliary or helping verbs, prepositions, models, or articles. And it is also recommended not to write full or complete sentences. So these were the steps and the presentation should follow the format which is there now on the screen. Moving on, let's now do a practice. Read the given passage and make notes. Dear students, I will be reading this passage for you. Listen to it and try to Point out the main heading and subheadings. If you can write somewhere, do it. So here we go. Title, Extinction of Species. There are a variety of causes that can contribute directly or indirectly to the extinction of a species or group of species. Most simply, any species that is unable to survive or reproduce in its environment and unable to move to a new environment where it can do so dies out and becomes extinct. Extinction of a species may come suddenly when an otherwise healthy species is wiped out completely as when toxic pollution renders its entire habitat unlivable or may occur gradually over thousands or millions of years such as when a species gradually loses out competition for food to newer better adapted competitors Conservation biology uses the extinction vortex model to classify extinction by cause. The question of whether more historical extinctions have been caused by evolution or by catastrophe is a subject of debate. Currently, environmental groups and some governments are concerned with the extinction of species due to human intervention and are attempting to combat further extinctions. Humans can cause extinction of a species through overharvesting, pollution, habitat destruction, introduction of new predators and food competitors and other influences. According to the World Conservation Union, 784 extinctions have been recorded since the year 1500. The arbitrary date selected to define modern extinction with many more likely to have gone unnoticed. Most of these modern extinctions can be 
attributed directly or indirectly to human effects and danger. Species are species that are in danger of becoming extinct. Several organizations attempt to preserve recognized endangered species through a variety of conservation programs. So dear students, here we end reading the passage. Now it's turn to make notes. While reading, we come across the main points which are First is causes, causes of extinction of species. That is the main title of our passage already given over there. Now causes which are natural, that means species unable to reproduce in its environment. This is the first sub point. So we are indicating it with 1.1. The number 1.1. Now comes a second sub point that is 1.2. Species unable to change its environment. Then the second main heading that is human causes, which are so many in number. So we have given it subheading 2.1 that is harvesting. And you can see that here abbreviation is used. Instead of writing the full spellings of harvesting, we have put a apostrophe over there. Then is the second subheading 2.2 pollution. Here also abbreviation is used. Now 2.3 subheading is new predators and food competitors. Now comes the third main heading that is solution and under this a subheading is written over there that is 3.1. Several organizations attempt and hyphen is there which is a symbol preserve endangered species. So dear students like this we will write notes of the above. Hopefully you have understood it. So now it's turn to do a practice at your own. So here also the title is written Good Manners. Read it and try to find out the main headings and subheadings. Then you organize the notes written by you after reviewing and reflecting. So dear students, this is a task for you people. You can note down or read. It is there in your grammar books too. In practice exercise. Now let's have a quick revision. So we have in this session did the topic note making where we found that we should read the passage and get the theme or the title if not given first of all. Then simultaneously you should underline the main points and sub points. We should also use numbers to write the main points and sub points. Use of abbreviations and symbols are also recommended. And not to write full sentences even not to use helping verbs. So dear students, hopefully 
you are now very much clear with the topic note making hope that today's session must have made you now comfortable with this topic i expect that scoring full marks will now be as easy as a b c for all of you and you will definitely use this wonderful skill not only to gain marks in grammar question of note making but also in all the subjects so wish you good luck keep doing efforts it's time to say goodbye so it is your teacher rachna gulati saying goodbye till we meet again thanks a bunch and have a nice day ahead